So we're going to feed some 14 2 down here to this uh, panel box to hook up a lighting circuit for the hallway here. Here in the country I'm born in, we use a 14 on 15 amps and we use a 12 on a 20 amps. And this is 14, so I'm using it on a 15 amp circuit to uh, power some lights in this hallway here. So I made a loop here to make it go down the hole easier. I'll just push it down like this. So we'll poke this through this hole here. Okay, so we can uh, bring this wire into the Romex connector here. Take and tap and get my uh, connector right in place here. Okay, I'll just rip the very end here. I'll use my uh, pliers. I'll grab my ground wire and I'll just pull it out. my side cutters here and I'll clip all this debris off, get all this paper out of here. And 
make sure you don't cut into anything you don't want to cut into. Now we're going to bring our white wire and our ground wire over to this neutral bar here. So we got to get it black wire up out of the way. We're going to go behind everything. Push our uh, white. This is not energized. The main breaker for this box is off downstairs. So we're going to put our ground and bare wire up at the top here. Push it up. Push it up. Okay, we'll start with our bare ground wire first. We'll bring it down in front of the neutral bar. We'll bend it up and we'll bring it over and we'll cut it about. Right here, I'd say. And we will loosen up. I, I like to use the back terminals first before I use the front ones. So that way I don't have wire or overhanging wire get in the way. So I'm going to just put it in here. Okay, so I'm going to push this back. Bring this up. I'll use my screwdriver to bring it up so it's nice and square across the back there. So I'm going to make sure the screw is tight and the wire is through all the way, and it is. So next we will do our white wire. We'll push it up, bring it up across the back here so it's nice and straight and even. We'll bring it down and we'll come up and we'll go into this terminal right here so I'll cut it here strip what I need to go into the uh, terminal and I'll bend this over make sure I get it through the hole there and I don't get the insulation pinched under the screw head and on the bus bar Make sure it's tight, push it back, so it's all nice and neat here. Okay, we're gonna put a, this is a 15 amp Murray breaker, and this is 14 gauge wire. So we're gonna put it in the box here like this. We'll bring it over, we'll push it over to this corner here. We'll bring it down, down, down. We'll bring it over where the breaker is. Cut it. Strip just enough to get under the terminal there. We'll bring it up. Slide our wire in the, into the terminal here. Bring it up. So I'll just double check, make sure my ground wires are through the hole and my white wires are through the hole and our screws are tight. Alrighty, so that is how we uh, put a 15 amp uh, circuit into a panel box and we are using it for a lighting circuit. Here in the country I'm going in, we have 240 coming to the panel box with uh, two legs of 120 each, 120 to the neutral, and 240 between the two hot wires for a, a larger appliance instead of 220 and 240 like the uh, water heater, the uh, electric stove, the dryer, the welder, the large air conditioners, and if you like your lights and TVs, they are uh, 110, 120 volts, and they are uh, live, live to neutral, and the 220, 240 is live to live. It's a, called a split phase, case bench reduction.